Sonically, this record is one of the best sounding mm -hmm. records that I've mm -hmm. ever played on. It could have been done in New York or LA mm -hmm. or Paris or anywhere in the world, but it was right here in our hometown, Lansing. Mm -hmm. I think we went to the next level musically with this this new, uh, with introspection. Mm -hmm. It's like the, the collections, your writing is just amazing on this. You, the source material was great to work with. And um, I, the thing I think about is, is you captured what I was feeling during the pandemic. You know, it was deep, mm -hmm. heavy, thought provoking music. And I thought the, the band, you know, like Michael Dees and Diego Rivera mm -hmm. and Marcus Elliott, who's alumni at MSU, and, A.T. and Charles mm -hmm. and uh, Randy Gillespie and we brought Dana Hall in from Chicago and Xavier Davis and Randy the Napoleon on guitar. And um, of course, working with my daughter Raquel, yes. I thought they all brought a unique perspective and feeling. Mm -hmm. And so there was some times when we were recording where I wanted to cry. Well. Yeah. <laughs> so you did your job with the composition. But I understand where, the, where some of those feelings come from. Uh, my hero is Billy Strayhorn, and there's a yeah, he has a melancholy that. spirit. It's a very deep melancholy spirit, and yeah. it's based well, on it's based on those feelings. When I compose, I get into a sort yeah. of a state where the emotions just come to the forefront, and it's, sometimes they just carry the those themes just come out of those emotions. When I hear one of your tunes, I know it's your tune. So you, as a composer, you have your own identity. But I hear everybody. I hear Coltrane in your music. I hear Wayne Shorter in your music. I hear Miles in your music. I hear Strayhorn. I hear Ellington. I hear Mingus. I hear Monk. Mm -hmm. It's all in there. But you've been able to sort of process it and create your own sound. Because when I hear one of your songs, I know it's your song immediately. That's sort of the fine line with composing that you have to walk because you want you yeah. want a stamp, you want an identity, you want your own identity, but you don't want to get in a, everybody automatic, oh, that's another Greg Hill tune. You know, you want something they haven't heard before. Right. So it's, it's tough to, to walk that line. You want to put your own creative stamp on it, but you don't, you don't, want, to, you don't want to become your own cliche, basically. So it's, it's you tricky. Got, you got to keep digging. But you got everything in there. Like, I think because you process so much music and you have your own identity and your own voice, you were able to almost like you can hear that influence, but it's not a copy of their mm -hmm. style. It's your own unique voice and your own unique way of put, processing the music. Well, the peace song was influenced by a moment in Detroit yeah. when there's a lot of turmoil. Yeah, and Farrell brought his band into town and we went to, a, I think it was Club Mozambique. It was, it was just a totally, you know, I was totally taken over by that experience, you know? Yeah. It just, it's, it put a permanent, stamp on my perspective on things because here we are with all this turmoil and we're there might be some similarities <laughs> but, today. but the beauty of it is the music you created is timeless and it works for these times that yeah. we're living in when we were in the studio the your music was almost like uh the antidote for what we were feeling you know because we we live with a lot of turmoil during right around the time there was several high profile police killings and deaths mm. and, and yep. the pandemic a lot of suffering but and most of us hadn't played in a while and so being in the studio getting 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 an opportunity to create music mm -hmm. but the music and the session was an antidote for what we all were feeling at that time and you could hear it you could hear it that's, that's right yeah. And you, my friend, you're, you are the, you are the ranger of choice in every situation. And because you, you respect the tunes, you don't have to rewrite stuff. You, you grasp the concept of the music. You grasp the feel of it. It's already and, there. And, it's all done. And you respect the composition. That's not always done by arrangers. Well, sometimes you can't, you can't make something better. So if it's already written good, yeah. you just have to play it, and it'll be yeah. fine. That Rodney influences, it just permeates the entire band. You are the center, you're the core of the group, the heartbeat. And you keep, if anybody's drifting off a little bit, you bring them back. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know exactly what to do. In that when, you play, when you play bass, you're in the middle. You're the interloper, as they yeah. say. So you're in the middle of it all. And you have to, it requires a lot of humility. 
Yeah. Because your role is to support, and you can be featured a little bit, but your job is to be the bass player. Yeah, and if there's a difference of opinion among the players on the stand, then you, you move in and say, You do what you got to do. You bring, <laughs> all right, now we're, on, we're all together here. Well, so uh, yeah, that's something special, because right? I recognize it in all different environments that I've heard you perform. So. Well, you got to be the glue. Yeah. yeah. You, you, look, so you, know. you, are, you are the man for that, absolutely. Yeah. What did you think of the band? I mean, let me name, but we had Xavier Davis on piano, Dana Hall on drums, the great Randy Gillespie on drums, Raquel Whitaker singing and writing lyrics, and Diego Rivera, Michael Dees on uh, trombone, one of the best trombonists in the world, ATN Charles, the most dapper, uh, extraordinary Marcus Elliott, young stalwart from Detroit, and the great Randy the Napoleon on guitar. What do you, I mean, you could start with any of those incredible musicians. I mean, what do you think of, about assembling that team of people in one place? And Rodney Whitaker. <laughs> well, thank you. Yeah. Um, well, they're all my heroes. That's, that's great to have people you admire and have sort of followed over the years. Any one of those. Randy, Uncle G. Oh, yeah. Segment my attention. Just listen to Uncle G, how he plays. You could, he's a one man show sometimes yeah that's right exactly where he is and what he's doing and how and how it fits in and and makes it interesting and exciting he's he's he can be a one-man show he's that he is good a <laughs> so, uh, he's a treasure let's put it that way and so are all other cats you know everybody's getting national recognition because yeah there's a good reason they get national recognition because they're that they're at the top of their game and then they're, they're in the they exist at the top of the field of players that's that right are, that we're in that studio that day, so that's just that's just good fortune, and knowing you so well to be that you, you would bring the best guys that you can uh, bring in are what make it exceptional. Well, the nice thing about this band is that they wanted us to have a good project, and so they came in the studio collaborating at a high level and really wanting us to have a good project. Right. So it's great to have this team of folks. You're a great arranger. I mean, you've, you're very much, it's, you know, we call produce this thing, and your arrangements yeah. are Thank are you. what make it exceptional. You know, Thank you. Your arranging concepts. So you can, you have a, a strong composer element yourself, and this sort of, you expand yeah. this out into your arranging. Yeah. What is the secret of your, of your skill? Um, arranging your music is easy because all I have to do is leave things intact. You did you did the job. Mm -hmm. You know, I don't have to fix anything in your music. Right. It's, right. And they're tricky. They're not, some of the rhythms are very specific. I might change a tempo, I might change mm -hmm. that kind of thing. But the melodies are so strong and the music has such a powerful message that all I have to do is show up. Well, I just want to give them something that challenges them a little bit and, all, and is also um, something new, something fresh. So the recording is going to be available on www.originarts.com and that's where folks can grab the record, but will this also be available on your website? Yes, it should be on greghilljazz.com and I think Origin will do the, the release also in early April Great. where everybody will be able to purchase it. So. Well, I'm ready. I got my copy, so yep. get your copy. Mm -hmm.